Hey, Bandit, what are you doing? Hey, hey, I brought some paint. Look, look, I brought some paint today. You did? Yeah, yeah, my paint. It's got all kinds of rainbow colors. And I'm going to paint with it later with my paws. You are? Yeah, yeah. Well, what are you going to paint? I'm going to paint myself, really. I'm going to paint my feet and my ears and my legs and my tummy and my back and all kinds of stuff. You are. Well, you might get really messy. That's okay, because I can take a bath. You could. Yeah, I like to take a bath. I go, splash, splash, I was taking a bath. Alone on a Saturday night. Rub a dub, just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was all right. Bandit. What? I don't think I've ever given you a bath. Well, I like to give myself a bath. It needs a privacy. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, so you've got lots of colors. Yeah, yeah, lots of colors. Okay. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pur and purple, and all different kinds. Well, that sounds really good. Well, look, I have a book that I want to share today. Look, it's the book that's I Ain't Gonna Paint No More. <gasps> oh, I remember this book. That kid's crazy. He, he got paint all over him. That's kind of where I got the idea. Oh, well, that sounds good. Well, can we read this book together? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I could get some inspiration for later. Okay, well, that sounds really good, Bandit. All right, can you tell them bye so that I can read the book? Okay, okay, but I want to listen to it. Okay, you can listen to it. Okay, bye. I Ain't Gonna Paint No More by Karen Beaumont. One day my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door and I heard my mama holler like I never did before. Do you know what she said? She said, ya ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, he ended up in the bathtub. It's in the tub, just like Bandit said. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. Uh-oh, look what's happening. <gasps> There's a little kid. What do you think his name is? They never tell us. Mom is hiding the paint way up high in the closet. But look who can see. What do you think he's gonna do? <gasps> oh, look. He's stacked up chairs and boxes and stuff and climbed up in that closet and got the paint. <gasps> I don't think his mama's gonna be very happy. Let's see what he's gonna do. <gasps> so I take some red and I paint my head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna paint my what rhymes with heck? Neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest until I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black and so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more like an Easter egg. I'm gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still I ain't complete until I paint my feet. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh my goodness, look at the big mess. <gasps> I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut. I'm gonna paint my... What? No, I ain't gonna paint no more. Y'all don't paint, cause there's no more paint. So I ain't gonna paint no more. The end. Look at that big mess. All right, so guys, guess what we're gonna do today? We are going to paint you with all kinds of colors of the rainbow, just like this guy did. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, Bandit, are you ready? Uh, no, not yet. Wait, 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 wait. Bandit. What? What are you going to do? No, no, don't give me that. What? I want to paint. I want to paint you. No, you can paint yourself. I don't want to paint myself. I'll have to take a bath. Didn't you just tell me you wanted to take a bath? I forgot. I don't like a bath. I don't like to get wet. Although when I do get wet, you know what I can do? I can go shh, which is kind of fun. 
Okay. Shake it off. Woo, woo, shake it off. Bandit. Woo, woo. Oh, bandit. What? <sighs> All right. So we are going to paint a person, but it's kind of hard to draw a person, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our person kind of like the people that an artist named Keith Haring drew. So look, this is a picture of Keith Haring. There's an illustration. Oh, I like his glasses. I wear glasses. Bandit. What? Stop. Okay. So, hey, there's a baby. Oh, you cute little, cute little baby right there. Yeah, it's a little baby, but does the baby have a face? He doesn't have a face! Ah! Bandit. What? That's just the style of the art. It's okay. It doesn't have to have a face. But but how does it see and smell and taste? I, I, I wouldn't like to not have a face. Well, we're not going to draw a face today. Will you help me open the book? Yeah, yeah, okay. That's not helping. Hmm? Bandit. What? Can you go sit over there while I do this? I don't want to. I want to be with you. All right, hang on. Let's see. All right, open it up. <gasps> Whoa! Wow! Look at all of the people. It's a design with all kinds of different people. And different kinds of poses. Hey, there's the baby again. The baby has a face. Oh, I'm so glad it has a face. All right, look. Well, wait. What are you doing? I, well, I'm looking for an illustration. Whoa, look at those guys. Look. Hey, they're upside down. I could be upside down, too. But, hey, look. Yeah, the bandit. Can you go sit over there? Okay, bye. You won't let go. Okay. So look, Keith Haring's artwork usually had these kinds of people. We can see they have a head, arms, body, and a leg. But it's kind of just a very, very simple sort of a shape, right? And that's exactly what we are going to do. All right. This is a book called Keith Haring, The Boy Who Just Kept Drawing. It's a wonderful book. You could check it out at the library or you could order it on Amazon. It has a lot of great information about Keith and his wonderful artwork that he did in New York City. All right, so in just a minute, we're gonna stop and I'm going to show you how to make a figure, not like this, but sort of inspired by Keith Haring's work. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so to do these herring inspired little people, we're going to start with the head, which is just a simple circle. Very simple. And if you mess it up, don't worry about it, just draw it again. Now we're just going to make this like a stick figure. So we're going to bring our line for our neck down through the torso about here. Okay? You don't want to go all the way down because you want to have some room for the legs, of course. All right, now we're going to figure out our arms. You can decide how you want your arms to be. If you want them just to be straight, you can make them straight like this. If you want it to be kind of down, you can do that, or bent. It's up to you. So maybe I'll make this guy kind of have his one arm up this way and then one arm here. And now for the legs, I can go two straight legs like this, or I can make one go up here, one go down there. You can make these guys <laughs> do whatever you want. Let's see. Ooh, I didn't know I was going to do that, but that looks pretty good. And then maybe I'll make this one come down like that. All right, now, how on earth can I paint this? I can't because I don't have shapes. All I have are lines. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use our handy dandy oil pastel. Or if you want to use a pencil first and then trace with your oil pastel, you can do that. But what we're going to do is we are going to trace around each one of these lines, okay? Now, something I do a lot that I, because I'm not thinking sometimes, is I make him super duper skinny where his tummy is. And I make his tummy as skinny as his arms and his legs. And that's not usually the case. Usually your tummy is not as skinny, right? It's going to be a little bit wider. So think about that as you're going. So you can do this with a pencil, which I'm going to do first. So I'm going to say, all right, here's my neck. And then I'm going to curve this line up. And remember, I'm going around my lines. All right, now I'm going to come down. And now this part, here's my tummy, right? So I'm going to stop a little bit short and come here. And now I'm going to make this come up here like this. 
And it's all right if they look kind of funny. They're not supposed to be really realistic. As long as you've got two arms, two legs, and a head, you're doing good. And you can practice and do a bunch of different ones until you get the one that you like the best. All right, I'm almost done here. I'm gonna come back up again. And there I am. Okay, not bad. Now I need to use my handy dandy eraser and I'm gonna erase these lines that were in the middle. These are helper lines. And you wanna to try to erase them because yes, we are gonna paint this character, but sometimes our paint might not cover as well as we would like it to. Let's think about these lines as it's skeleton, right? They're like the bones and they're hidden by the skin. We don't want anybody to see them, all right? So once you have it drawn out in pencil, and now look, you can still see them a little bit, but they'll be a little bit easier to cover up with my paint. Once you have this, then you can use a black marker or a black oil pastel, black crayon, whatever you have to kind of make those lines just pop out, just like that, okay? Here I go. Do, 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 do. And if you slip, sometimes oil pastels are very slippery, it's no big deal. All right, so there you go. Go ahead and get to that and I'll show you some other ideas. Okay, so if you remember, our crazy character in our Ain't Gonna Paint No More story painted him his entire body with all kinds of different paint all sorts of paint he painted his legs he painted his back his hand his arm his chest all kinds of stuff with that paint so that's exactly what we're going to do with our little guy here that we just drew so you can pretend like this is you or a friend or maybe Oh, I don't know, your little brother or sister, and you guys could have a paint party and paint yourselves. You could make a bunch of these different characters and paint them all together like they're having a paint party. So, I have some paint right here, and this is acrylic paint. And acrylic paint is just kind of that wonderful creamy sort of paint that you squirt out of a bottle or a tube. And you can... Um, you might have that. If you don't have acrylic paint, that's okay. You can use a temper paint, which is like a poster paint. You could use a watercolor paint, you know, the kind that we have in pans. We could use crayons if you don't happen to have any of that. You could pretend, hey, this is paint. We're gonna see how I'm gonna color my head or my arm or my leg. And you could make stripes and polka dots and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna just move along real quick and there's no wrong way to do this. I'm gonna use all of the different colors of the rainbow and create different kinds of designs on this crazy kid who happened to get stuck in the paint. Now I might decide to paint one color first. Whoa, -oh, a little bit of my blue got mixed up with my yellow. Hmm, what do yellow and blue make, do you know? It makes green. I might paint one color and then decide to paint with another color on top. So maybe I'll put some little green polka dots where this blue is, that could be kind of fun. Oh, I still have some green on my brush. Maybe I'll put some green, oh, I'm putting some green right up on his head, look at that. Now there are no eyes or noses here, are there? No, because in the artwork that we were looking at done by Keith Haring, he doesn't use eyes or noses really in his work. So we're kind of emulating him. That's a big word, isn't it? Emulate, what does that word mean? basically kind of means that we're doing art in the style of him or emulating. So we're trying to kind of be a little bit like him in a way. Now I'm not going slow here. I'm just kind of hurrying up to fill up this guy with some different color. I'm just having fun with it. You could go fast like me, or if you want to, you could take your time. You could try one and then try another one and another one until you get to the one that you like the best. It's just fun to paint and to imagine what it would be like to have a paint party and color yourself with all of these beautiful colors 
of the rainbow. What am I missing? Let's see. Do I have all of the rainbow colors? Do I have red? Do I have orange? I have a little bit of orange. Not much. I'll put some orange. Orange. Do I have yellow? Yes. Do I have green? Oh, I'll put some more green. I have blue. And I have purple too. Oh, let's see. Maybe I'll put some blue up on his face there. And there I go. So, oh, um, the blue is mixing with the orange, and what's happening? It's making a little bit of brown. Whoops. I think that little boy probably made some brown when he was painting, too, don't you? I think probably so. All right, I have a little bit of green here. We're going to put some more green. Hmm, maybe on his foot over there. Hmm. You could also let your paint dry and then go back on top. If you want to let's see maybe I'll make some zigzags I'm using a very big brush here Ooh, so it's hard to get a lot of detail with this big brush I'm using see but if you have a very small brush you could do a lot more details and do a much better job than me remember you guys always do a much better job than me because you guys are gonna take your time okay so there's one guy and then look I made a couple more well remember what I told you about the guy who's skinny this is a beautiful oops could I still paint this I sure could what about this one this one's a little bit more simple I could paint him too I could have a whole family of crazy color kids all right, I can't wait to see what you guys do. Y'all have a great day. See you soon. Bye.